before we start let's pray together close your eyes and let's pray dear lord i thank you for today i commit today's shine case club into your hands i pray we have a wonderful time at shine case club in jesus name amen Hello Shine Kids, my name is Aram and I want to thank God for my life, for the life of my family and friends and for Shine Kids. Shine, I shine, you shine, we shine. Hello Shine, my name is Stephanie and I want to thank God for his protection over me and my family. Hi guys, it's time for ice breaking. Let's join Uncle Daddy to have some fun. Shine! I shine! You shine! We, we shine! shine. Alright guys, our ice breakers today is going to be very simple. Are you guys ready? Yes! It's called jump in and what? Jump out! Are you guys ready? Yes! Are you sure? Yes! Are you also ready? Yes! Alright guys, this is how we are going to start it. You say what I say and do what I say. So when I say jump in, you say jump in and you jump in. Do you understand? Yes. Do you also understand? Very good. All right, guys, jump in. Jump, jump in. in. Very good. Jump out. Jump out. Jump in. Jump in. Jump out. Jump out. All right, guys. Now you say what I say and you do the opposite. Do you understand? Now when I say jump in, you do jump in. You jump out, but you say jump in. Is it confusing enough? No. Yes. Oh wow. Okay. All right. Are you ready? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. The person watching the video is even louder than you guys. Are you sure? Yeah. All right. Jump in. Jump in. Oh. <laughs> Jump out. Jump out. Jump in. Jump in. Mm -hmm. Jump out. Jump out. All right. Now you do the opposite of what I say. And you say the opposite of what I say. So when I say jump in, say jump out. Do you understand? Yes. Are you guys ready? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Jump out. Jump out. Okay. That will be all for today. Shine. I, I shine. shine. You shine. We shine. I'm not satisfied. Jump in. That will be all for today. Shine. I shine. You shine. We shine. Bye. This week, our no excuse verse is taken from Philippians chapter 4, verse 13. Let's learn it together. Philippians chapter 4, verse 13. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Philippians chapter 4 verse 13 now let's take out some of the words and see if you can remember them Philippians chapter 4 verse 13 I can do all through who 
Philippians chapter 4 verse 13. Now let's see if you got it right. Philippians chapter 4 verse 13. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Philippians chapter 4 verse 13. Amen. Wow, you've done so well. Hello everyone! Hi, Hi Auntie Wow! How are we all doing? We are fine! We are all welcome to today's Bible Chit Chat. Throughout this week we've been learning amazing lessons about excuses. And we want to share with our friends back at home all that we've been learning. So I hope you are also sharing with somebody at home. So who is going to share with us first? Yes. I learned that I must not give excuses because excuses are lies. Yes, we learned that we must not give excuses because they are just like lies. They are not the truth. Yes, dear Alicia. I learned that excuses bring punishment. Yes, when you give excuses, you will definitely be punished at the end because you will not do what you were supposed to do. Yes, Kendra. I learned that I must not hide my talents. It's true. We must not give excuses and hide our talents. Let's clap for ourselves. You've done so well. You at home, I hope you also learned something during the week and you shared with your family and friends. So, for today's Bible story, we are all going to learn about a man called Jonah. Who knows Jonah? Me. Who knows the story of Jonah? Okay, so we are all going to share the story of Jonah together with our friends at home. So, one day, say one day. One day. God called Jonah. Jonah was a prophet of God, so God called me and he said that I want to send you to a certain place so that you can go and give a message to the people of that land. What was the name of that land? Mimi Bay. So God sent him to go and tell them that they should repent of their sin. And what did Jonah do? Yes. He bought a ticket and went to Spain. So he bought a ticket and went the other way. And what did he tell God? He made a big excuse. He gave God a big gargantuan excuse. So what was the excuse? He was scared of the people of Nineveh. He was scared of the people there, so he can't go. So you see, instead of doing what God has told him, give an excuse. Just because he said I'm afraid. He didn't want to go. And he went the opposite direction. So he went aboard a ship, and as the ship was going, a mighty storm came and shook the ship up. The people in the ship were so scared, they were like, Hey, what is happening? This has never happened before. What is happening? Then they said, Oh, let's pray to our gods and find out why there is this mighty storm. Because they did everything, the storm was not going. And then after they consulted their gods, they found out that Jonah was the culprit. He was the reason why the storm was there. And they found out that he was running away from God. Because they asked him and he said, God has sent me and I don't want to go and I'm running away. So they asked him, what should they do now? Jonah told them that, just throw me into the sea. Because if you don't throw me into the sea, this storm will never go away. So they threw Jonah into the sea. And then what happened? Uh, oh. A big whale swallowed. A big fish swallowed up Jonah. Do you remember the song? Who did, who did, who did, who did, who did swallow? Followed up Jonah and Jonah was in the fish belly for how many days? Yes, three days, three nights. Three days and three nights. And when Jonah was there, he asked God for forgiveness and God forgave him. Then the fish spat Jonah out and then he brought him to the shore. Oh, isn't God a forgiving God? Yes. So yes. after all the excuses that Jonah gave, and the punishment of being in the fish's belly for how many days? Three, three days, days and, and three nights. So you see, it's not good for us to be giving excuses. God does not want us to be giving excuses. When you are asked to do something, what do you do? You have to you do, do it. Yes. Don't give excuses for it. What has been your favorite excuse at home or at school? 
Yes. Only unlock the level so I can do the house chores. Yes, you see, sometimes you see, mommy, I'm not feeling well, so I can't do the house chores. Yes. I'm tired because I don't want to do house chores. I'm tired because I don't want to do my house chores. Yes. Because, mommy, let me finish watching my cat. Let me finish washing my car too. They say, oh, because of that, I'm feeling sleepy. I want to lie down a little. But are excuses good? No. 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 We all have to be hardworking, obedient children. And when we are asked to do something, do it to bring glory to God. Amen. Amen. So, let's all answer these questions. I know we all said the story together. But let's see the answers for the question. What did God ask Jonah to do? Yes, Alice. God asked Jonah to go to the people of Nineveh to go and tell them that God has seen what they have planned. Yes, and that God said they should repent from their sins. Let's clap for her. Our second question is, what did Jonah decide to do? Jonah went to the port and bought a ticket to the opposite direction where he was supposed to go. Yes, so he didn't go where God told him to go. He went the opposite direction. Let's clap for him. <laughs> Why do you think Jonah tried to run away? Yes, because he was scared of the people of Nineveh. Because he said he was scared. And that is why he ran away. So, today when we look into our magazine, we have so many activities, a wonderful activity about excuses, a word search. Everybody take a pen, yes, and let's all try our hands on it to find the words. Fish, Jonah, Navy, Swallow, Obey, Storm, Wind, Sea, and Ship. So try your hands on it. So those of us at home, try your hands on our activity for today, and I know that you enjoy it. Are you done? Yes. That's good. So God bless all of us so much. And remember not to what? Give excuses. excuses. Don't give excuses again. Always be obedient and do what you are told to do. Shine. I shine. You shine. We shine. Hi, guys. Let's learn something new. It's craft time. Photo frames. It looks very nice, right? It's very easy to make. You will need definitely some A4 sheets. You will need some cardboard cut out, okay, just like this, to the length that you want, depending on the picture you want to frame. And then you will need a pair of scissors to cut out the cardboard and to cut out the paper. And the last part is your glue and some trimming. You can get the trimmings from a seamstress or a tailor or any other person who sews. So tell mommy and daddy and then do that for you. So now we start. So first you arrange your cardboard pieces in the form of the frame on your A4 sheet. Okay? And this is my makeshift picture. I didn't get the picture to bring to me. But next time I'll bring a real picture of myself. So this is the picture we'll be framing and you put it on the A4 sheet just like this, okay? Over your picture on the A4 sheet or a manila card if you have one. Then you take your glue just like this. Then definitely your trimming. Make sure that the trimming goes over the parts of the cardboard that are not together. So it goes over it just like this. And then you cut it. If it's a bit too hard for you to cut, let any older person assist you. Then you apply your glue. As you can see, I'm applying it. You do that generously. You apply the glue generously. Mm -hmm. 
too much. You see, if you move it too much, the glue moves out there and sticks to your hand. So be careful so that you also don't bend yourself because this glue is hot. I hope you enjoyed our craft. Please send pictures of your craft on the numbers on our screen. Auntie Val, we have a question for you. Let's hear it. It's from Nancy, who is 11 years old. Dear Auntie Val, we are back in school and my teacher gives us plenty of homework. Yesterday, Mommy found my math, science and English homework books in my bag. I didn't, I didn't do them because I was thinking I could do them later and I was busy too. Now Mommy is angry. What do I do? Thank you Kendra for reading our question for us. You're welcome. My dear Nancy, I'm so happy that you are back in school. You see, giving excuses can bring you a lot of trouble. Do you remember the story about the five virgins in Matthew 25? The foolish virgins did not see the bridegroom because they were not ready with their lamp full of oil. Learn not to give excuses with your schoolwork, housework, any work you are doing. Do it immediately you get home. That is how to be a good student. Keep on learning how to make your parents proud of you. I see you shining already. God bless you. week our project is no excuse badges come together with your friends and family and design no excuse badges that you can wear around these are some of the statements you can write on them one I am young but God can use me two I accept my mistakes and learn from them three I can do all things because Christ gives me strength don't forget to send us a photo. Enjoy doing this. My dear friends, all throughout this week we've been learning about excuses. Do you know that 
Once God wanted to save his children from their sins so that they could have a relationship with him once again. And he was looking for somebody. Jesus said he would do it. He did not give excuses. Jesus decided to come and die for our sins and pay for the punishment for our sins. That is what he did. And today I want to give you that opportunity. John 3.16 says that for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him. Today is the opportunity that you have to believe in what Jesus did for you on the cross of Calvary. If you've never made that decision before, to take Jesus as your Lord and your personal Savior, acknowledging his sacrifice on the cross of Calvary for your sins, then I just want you to take that opportunity today and join me as we pray together. You can say this prayer after me. Dear God, I thank you for today. I thank you that Jesus came to die for me. Today, I repent of my sins and I accept Jesus as my Lord and my personal Savior because of his death on the cross for me. From today, dear Jesus, come and live in my heart and be the Lord of my life. Help me to live for you and help me to live a life without excuses. Thank you, O oh God, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. God bless you for praying with me. Remember now, Jesus lives in your heart and you are a child of God. From today, take your personal time with God serious. Read your Bible every morning, pray and talk to God and tell him everything that is on your heart and decide to live to honor him. God bless you so much. Keep shining. Activities like 
puzzles, crosswords, hidden pictures, recipes, crafts, and many other educational stuff. Send your questions and comments to the numbers on the screen or through our WhatsApp, Facebook, Instagram or YouTube channels. Order for your lovely Shine Kids Club t-shirts or wristband and it will be delivered to you.